Today is October 2014, and I came across something interesting in a theory of mine that I think I found out why a lot of people get sick from the food that we eat, including in, uh, giving us cancers of all co of all sorts. What do you think we're gonna besides the GMOs? Why do you get the ear, ear IBS and all the in gastrointestinal problems? So this is the inspector. This runs on a 30 second average. So I'm outside and I came across this bucket of fertilizer. Well, this is what is used to grow all of our produce in America and probably throughout the world. So this is what is called a rock phosphate. And I'm pretty sure that this is from uh, polonium which I think breaks down to, and I'm probably wrong, radium, or vice versa. But whatever, this is what they're using to grow your food, mostly your vegetables. So, background in the burbs of Cleveland, Ohio, USA is usually, usually 30 CPMs. And like I said, that's a 30 second average. So let's go into the rock phosphate and see what we can get. And I'm not going to go too close to it because I don't want to contaminate my unit. So it's floating about an inch above. I'll give it like 30 seconds and see. See, the closer you get, the higher it will read. But I don't want to damage my unit. So this is probably used, it's, just, it's a fertilizer, and when they put it in the fields or in your garden, the plants will uptake it probably, I'm thinking, within the roots. Or even if you're a gardener, if it's in your soil and you kick it up and it's dry and it goes, flies into your nostrils, goes into your sinus cavities. So this is what they are using to grow our food. So my theory is that besides nuclear power plants and spewing their um, allowable amounts of waste and isotopes probably out into the atmosphere for us to breathe, there is also this being put on the ground to grow our food. In 2014, you would think that to become high-tech, you would try to do stuff that is healthier, but it seems like it's all about production. They don't care what they're using to grow it with, whether it's a GMO seed or whether it's radioactive fertilizer. And this is what it is, and I choose. That's why I choose not to buy conventional food. You're better off eating less, you know, eating organic, than eating your regular amounts of conventional pesticide-laden food. So there you go. That's for someone. Now someone's going to come up and say, "Oh, that's not." Small amounts of radiation are, are not harmful. Then they'll throw out, oh, it's about like eating a t 10 bananas. Well, don't believe the lie. This stuff is dangerous. And if anybody tries to tell you that it's safe to grow our food with this, they're either a shill or they're crazy. There's a good crazy, and then there's a bad crazy. Alright, well, keep that in mind when you want to grow your vegetables in your garden, try to go organic. I know nothing's 100% foolproof, but there's always a start.
Hold on, let's go with the... So we know what this is. The people that really know the numbers. We'll know this number. Before I die from it, I'm signing off. Ciao.